You going clubbing tonight like I am? Then watch this. Talia is going to show you how to create an easy breezy evening look. That's how I talk when I go clubbing. Hi, I'm Talia and I do beauty videos on YouTube. I've already done kind of like a day look using my favorite, favorite CoverGirl products, but now I'm going to do more of a smoky, more dramatic nighttime look for you all. And I'm also going to be featuring my favorite CoverGirl products. So I'm going to start out with the CoverGirl Clean um, Foundation. This is in Soft Honey number 155. So I'm just going to take that and distribute it all over my face. The reason being why I'm using the Clean from CoverGirl is because it gives a flawless finish and it lasts forever. When you're testing out your foundation, you always kind of want to go for the lighter one versus the darker one because you can always add a darker powder or even a bronzer. Also, another tip is when you're picking out your foundation, don't go by your face and don't go by your neck. Go by your arm because that you kind of want to match your arm to your face. Since we're going to be going out or it's later on, you kind of want your makeup to really set and stay on your face. So I'm going to set it with the True Blend Minerals and I'm in the shade 415. And then you're just going to put that in your T-zone or all over your face if you have super oily skin. Next, I'm going to move on to the eyes. Everyone does their face in different patterns. I do my face, then my eyes, then my lips, whatever you want to do. But I'm going to take these eyeshadows, their eye enhancer eyeshadows. They're amazing. They're so highly pigmented. They will last you the whole night. Don't need a primer. And this is the one I'm going to use for my eyeshadows. This is Prom Queen number 224. The shadows give an amazing, big, bold look. So if you're going for that, that's what we're going for. But first, I'm going to fill in my eyebrows. Normally, I fill in my eyebrows because they're very sparse. But if you have more full, more um, very shaped and defined eyebrows, you could totally just skip this step. So I'm going to go into this eye enhancer quad. And this is the coffee shop quad. And I'm just going to use this dark one over here with an angled brush to fill in my brow. Something to remember about your eyebrows is the farther you take them in, the slimmer your nose will look. And then the farther you take them out, the bigger your nose will look. If you want your nose to look smaller, put them in a little bit more. And if you want them, you want, if you have really thin nose and you want it to look bigger, make your eyebrows go out a little bit more. I'm gonna go into the Prom Queen quad and I'm gonna take a flat shader brush and I'm gonna take this kind of silvery blue shadow and I'm just going to apply that to my lid. You can take it into your inner corners as well. And then I'm gonna take this, whoops, take this kind of like burgundy purple color and I'm gonna apply that into my crease. The same brush. It looks messy now, but I promise at the end it'll do some blending, some more shadow. It'll look good. I'm gonna take that same color and put some underneath your lower lash line to kind of even out the look. kind of connect it. It looks like I have a black eye. Yeah, but we're gonna change that in a little bit. Then you can take this shimmery kind of champagne color all the way in the corner. Take that and put that as your brow bone highlight. And then you're gonna take a little bit of that burgundy color and a little bit of the brow bone color. Kind of go back and forth a bit. Tap off the extra. And then you're gonna start blending it. Softly go on the edges and blend it. Then you can take a tissue, you just kind of clean up her, the edges so it doesn't look droopy. Then you can take another quad, you just want a darker color to add a little bit of definition. And this one is 700. And I'm going to take 
take the angled brush that we used earlier and take the darker blue color. And I'm going to put that on my lower lash line and my upper lash line kind of as eyeliner. Taking the other brush again, you're just gonna take the off kind of black color and place it on the outer corner. I'm gonna take another kind of fluffier brush and blend the edges one more time. And what's really gonna pull this whole look together is mascara. I'm gonna take the Kevacure Lash Blast Volume. It has an enormous brush for enormous volume. So, I'm gonna show you right now. Look at this big brush, look how big that is. It's like, it's like huge, so big. I'm gonna use the waterproof one because it's nighttime. Who knows if I'm gonna cry, no. I'm just gonna use it because it might be sweating or it's just waterproof. Put this on. So at the base of your lashes and work it up. So since it's nighttime, you it's okay to be dramatic. I'm gonna add a little bit more color on my face with this beautiful, beautiful, darker kind of skin tone darkness. And I'm gonna use a blush brush or any type of smaller brush that is smaller than powder brush. I'm gonna take a little bit, tap off most of it, and then you kinda wanna put it underneath your blush where you would normally put your blush. Or you could do a fishy face, which is what some people do, like this. But either one. And then kind of put it on the backs of your cheeks. And what this is doing is you're adding darker color so when you look straight, it kind of looks shaded. So your cheekbones look higher. And you can also do it on your temples right here to kind of balance everything out. So now that we have our bronzer on, you wanna use blush. And blush is just gonna give you kind of like a rosy color to your cheeks. You can do anything you want. If you just wanna use bronzer, you can just use bronzer. If you just wanna use blush, you can just use blush. I'm gonna use this blush with the same brush and put it right on top of that bronzer. And normally, once I've done that, I take a big, a big brush and I just kind of blend it all together because sometimes I add too much and it looks like a clown, so. Next, I'm going to use the Outlast Lip Color from CoverGirl, obviously. And these last up to 24 hours. They are amazing. So if you're like a teenager or an adult and you're going out, maybe you're gonna be going on a date or something, you know, never know, never know. These would be amazing because they last, they're kissable, they're drinkable, not drink, but you can drink with them. And this is the color I'm gonna be using. It's 531 and it comes with the balm because it's a stain, it'll last forever, like I said. But sometimes it could be, these types of products can be a little bit drying, so you wanna use a lip balm over it. You don't have to, I'm going to because I want it. And my lips are kinda dry right now, so I'm gonna. You know open it and this is just a gorgeous pink color since the eyes are so much you kind of want to tone down the lips and if your eyes are kind of natural it's okay to use a pop-up color on your lips then you can go over it with your amazing lip balm just a clear lip balm so you don't change the color and you can see the shiny gives you see that you see it now that our nighttime more dramatic look is done, we're gonna go to the nails. I decided to go with a classic red color. It's just red and fun to smanchy. So wherever you're going, I think red is always a great go-to color. And this one is number 185 and is in Forever Festive. I agree, for festive, festive. And it's so glossy, you don't need a top coat, you don't need a base coat. Amazing shine. Come on, man. So now that we are all done, we got our nails, we got our makeup, we got everything set, we are ready to go out or be dramatic. Mm -hmm. 
or be a cover girl. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to check me out on YouTube, and I will see you on YouTube or later. Bye.